The SMU Bachelor of Science Computing and Law degree is unique and the first of its kind in Singapore. It produces professionals equipped with both technological and legal skills who can identify new opportunities, deliver new services and reimagine the way we create value. Testrack Technologies is a local technology company where we provide uh, enterprise solutions for professionals and such professionals include lawyers. Just like how IS was originally developed to help um, bridge the gap between developers and businessmen, um, with this program, um, you can actually bridge the gap between developers and lawyers, two very fundamentally different ways of thinking and the ability to marry the two will become a huge asset uh, moving forward in the industry. The legal field is actually still in a very nascent stage, uh, I think especially in Singapore. But what we can maybe draw an analogy to is the developments in other industries and other fields. So we are talking about roles which today don't even exist. But looking back 10 years ago or 15 years ago, um, there are no such role as data scientists. So as we move forward in the legal industry and we see technology playing a bigger and bigger role, there's going to be a rise of uh, new roles uh, which blend the two expertise together and completely change the way in which law is practiced today. I think someone who has gone through a degree in both computing and law, like the Bachelor of Science in Computing Law degree would, definitely can have the edge, the edge to analyze beyond just what the tech can do. And as a startup, it's a great skill if each of us in a company can analyze it to the 80th percent and let the lawyers do just a little bit. So we can do it fast, like what a startup should, and keep our costs low as well. So this degree is fantastic. When we first started, right, there was no law knowledge within the founding team. And a lot of the things that we were doing were law related. Uh, business, I think we, we all get to learn it while we are on the job. But I think being able to comprehend law right, is something that requires a neat skill. And you would need to actually understand it a lot deeper. Take fraud detection as an example. A bank can now run a machine learning model on every transaction to flag out suspicious ones for further investigation. Now if you were in charge, you would want to be very careful that the model is not using discriminatory information like where people live or where they were born. This relates to important concerns of ethical and lawful AI. And this is the reason that we are offering this degree, to train professionals who can bridge computing and law. What we're trying to do is to supercharge the industry by enhancing the knowledge worker here. It was difficult to get talent who both understood the legal industry, who can understand legal content, and understand the objectives of how lawyers look at particular legal materials. So we're excited to work with talents who are both trained in the law and in computer science to be part of this journey of changing the legal industry. That sort of work would require understanding both legal as well as technical principles. I personally feel that regulation is increasingly necessary as the potential misusers of AI or upcoming technologies continue to grow. I wanted to choose a school that allows me to get out of my comfort zone and a school that is very in touch with the working world. During my time in Shopee, I had the chance to help automate certain processes and this is a part of the digital transformation in my team itself. So I feel like SMU offering this degree in computing and law will definitely give its students an edge in the working world. The curriculum is more than just a simple collection of computing and law courses. Instead, we relate law concepts to technology application contexts. We are able to do that because we have professors from the computing school and law school who work on the intersection of both disciplines.